Howdy folks, in our English video lesson today, we're gonna learn some advanced words with the Piers Morgan show. The language is quite strong, the words are impolite, but it's important, I believe, to at least be able to understand these words in case a heated argument arises. Let's get into it. A lot you've been seething away quietly to my left. You've been seething away quietly to my left. To seethe means to express uh, your anger through your mannerism. Not necessarily to shout at someone, but to be fuming, uh, frothing at the mouth, maybe looking daggers at someone. I can see you simmering, so simmer away. <laughs> You've been simmering, simmer away. Now Pierce is asking this lady to express her anger vocally and using her words. You appall me, Piers. You appall me. In British English, this word is pronounced appall. You disgust me. You make me very, very upset. Occasionally, I think, no, he's found the light. He's seen the light. He Occasionally, I go, he's found the light. Meaning, occasionally, every once in a while, I think that you're on the right side of the argument, but no. He's no longer crashing on about Harry. Mm -hmm. And then this appalling diatribe. And this... Uh, appalling diatribe. A diatribe is a long monologue where you uh, attack someone viciously through words. We've just had to sit through you claiming, you lying there, suggesting that you're putting their names out effectively to save the monarchy. You put their names out for clicks. You're no better than Omid Scobie. In fact, you're worse. You call him a little spittle. You call him a lickle spittle, which I believe is a tweaked form of lick spittle that describes someone who praises an authority figure in a jarring way. So when we use this word, we're essentially saying that this person is a sycophant. It, this person is a sucker. We use this word disapprovingly. You're a great big gob of phlegm. That's <laughs> a gob is a large amount of something. Just landed on the royal doormat. And sometimes people say, shut your gob, which means uh, be quiet. Uh, that is very, very rude. Gob is a British word. I don't know how you slept last night. I struggled to sleep thinking about what you'd done. I really no, can't. Did. And yes, What's I did. Load I did know that's, that you, right, stop you the, suggest that. Stop the you know, performative no, crap. No. Stop the performative crap, suggesting that what you're doing is just an act. Honestly, oh, no, it's no, performative no, crap. No, let's just hold just on to Just calm your down. Have no, a civilized conversation. I let's have a civilized conversation. Let's be civil. Let's be a little calmer, a little bit more polite. Not the idea you didn't sleep minutes. over this. You don't even know these people. I was, no, I was properly angry by your... I was properly angry. That's an interesting way of using the word properly. <laughs> I was terribly angry in American hypocrisy. English. And then What's you the sit hypocrisy? there, please, because you spend day in, day out, your pro-monarchy, the wonderful queen. Day in, day out, all the time, you are pro-monarchy. You are in favour of the monarchy. Pay attention to the pronunciation there, monarchy. Yeah, wonderful, Charles. And then you go and dob Kate and Charles right in it. And you go dob these people right in. When you dob someone in, you tell on someone, in this case, publicly. Dob someone in is another British term. The ones at no, I did oh, no, no, Yes, no. you did. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Yes, you oh, did. no, 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 no. Oh, yes, you I'll did. I'll tell you who did that. Omid Scobie. Because these names appeared in a draft of his book, which was published in the Netherlands. And they were under the line. To Netherlands it was people. Tattle. It was just tittle tattle. It was idle gossip, trivial, unimportant. Yeah. You popped it on a Murdoch platform, yeah. and now you've just had the gall to suggest. You're that now you have the gall to do something. You have the nerve. You have the audacity. You are rude enough. So we use the word gall in the phrase to have the gall to do something. I hope you have learned some words from my video lesson. Uh, it's important for us to understand what these words mean in case someone goes on a diatribe, someone attacks us. Have a good one.